Hi, I'm Randy Ipe. I'm here with Technoesk and Finnis Price. We're at the trial pad booth at ABA Tech Show 2011. I'm here with Ian Flaherty, Kara Cheever, and Wolfgang Pinther. And we're talking about the new exciting product, trial pad for the iPad. Uh, Ian, tell us a little bit about what your product is. It's a trial presentation program or app for the iPad that allows you to bring in all your evidence and present it electronically and also has some great uh, file management features. All right. And uh, Ian's been kind enough to show us his, his new upcoming 2.0 version. Uh, we've all seen what 1.0 can do. Tell us a little bit about what, what improvements and uh, new features you have in the 2.0. And 2.0 hasn't been released yet. We're still got a week or two away. And, but it's got uh, call-out features, one of the things that a lot of users have been asking for, which is this tool right here. You'll be able to go in here and actually pull out a piece of text, bring it around, and even have a second piece that you want, might want to compare to it. So it allows you to have multiple call-outs per page. You close them by just tapping with two fingers. All right, and tell us about some of the features that we know from the first version, highlighting, uh, uh, you know, the, the red pen, things along those lines. We've improved the uh, current features by adding different uh, choices for the uh, colors. And now with the highlighter, it's not just yellow, but we've added green, blue, and pink. And the same with the uh, pen tool. We've also added different widths to the uh, different stroke widths and an eraser. And for the redaction tool, we have added uh, black as another option for the redaction because some people want to actually show the redactions. And we also have a laser tool for when you're presenting, you can actually point it just like a keynote and see the laser on the screen. All right. Um, how do I get information in and out of TrialPad? Um, the easiest way, the best way to do it is through Dropbox. If you go back out to the cases screen and just hit the Dropbox icon, you can log into your, your, uh, your Dropbox account import the, uh, the files and folders with the file and folder structure intact. All right. So uh, you wouldn't have to change anything or uh, convert any files in order to use TrialPad as, as a presenter tool? No, not at all. There's some other uh, small features we've added here as well, if I just run through them real quick. You'll now be able to email your documents with the annotations, send them to Dropbox, and even print. We support the printing. And we've also incorporated a up and down arrow here, so it allows you to quickly zoom through your document. And also a side-by-side -side tool here, which allows you to show two documents or the same document side-by-side, -side, and you can go through each document and show different pages at the same time. Uh, and in this view, can you do call-outs, highlighting, and things along those lines? Yes. So in this view, all the annotations are still available, just like we had before, and you can still move them around. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the hot docs icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. What does that do? The hot docs icon is here, and when you press that, you're able to make a certain page or a whole document a hot doc. What that means is almost like a save as tool. So it allows you to save a document with your annotations into another area over here, which then you can use as a set of folders for witnesses or for issues. Uh, the folder structure on the left-hand side, that comes directly from Dropbox? Yes, if you import your folders from Dropbox, the same folders that you have set up in Dropbox will appear here, will be populated with your files and so inside them. All right. Uh, can you rename documents or uh, save different versions or copies using TrialPad? Yes, there's an edit tool here, and once you press that, you can select any folder or file that you want, and you can either duplicate, rename, move them. You can also move them dynamically using, uh, using the three bars on the right side. All right, tell us a little bit about what file... Uh, uh, what types of documents, what file structures, and what video codecs you guys support? Um, in the 2.0, we're going to be supporting the PDF, which is uh, widely used, obviously, as well as uh, JPEG, TIFF, multi-page TIFF, uh, PNGs, Word files, WordX files, Excel files, Excel files, PowerPoint, PowerPoint X, uh, as well as Keynote uh, numbers and uh, pages. All right. Uh, if I export or if I use a keynote or a PowerPoint in there, can I actually use animations or does it save it as a static image? It'll save it as a static image, the animations will come through. Right. You can pinch zoom and annotate those, I would assume? You can still do all the other annotations in um, Tell us about the, the actual presenter tools. If, uh, if I'm in trial, uh, what are the options at the bottom here? The blank, the freeze, and the present feature. And we've changed that from the uh, previous version, which was stop, pause, and play, because when you're showing different uh, documents, you, want, you might want to be able to freeze the document as you search for another one. Uh, we've changed that in the new version to blank, freeze, and play. They operate the exact same way, but the reason we changed the naming is because we incorporated video, and we didn't want to have two versions of stops and two versions of plays. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about video. How do you uh, use video using TrialPad? At uh, TrialPad, you'll be able to import video through Dropbox, uh, and the program will automatically place it into the Videos tab here, 
um, and you can uh, import, uh, it'll work with all file formats that are supported by the iPad right now, primarily .mlv and mp4. Uh, are you able to edit videos uh, right from the trial pad interface? You will be able to edit videos as well, a very simple editing tool just like you have on your iPhone. Um, Sh show us how the highlighting and the, uh, the callouts work if you would. Sure, this is a sample transcript, you go to any page you want, we're going to say page 55 for example. You can still zoom in onto that area of the document. I'll use the redact tool here and I will redact a part of the previous answer by just going like that. I uh, also redact the, um, the, bat the bottom question here. So now we're only showing this part of the actual deposition. Then with the highlight tool we can highlight the answers to show the answers that the person answered to the questions in the deposition. Uh, we also have the uh, pen tool, so if there's something particularly important, you can still emphasize it that way. Uh, and using the pause or the freeze feature, uh, you can actually do that in the background while another document is up on the screen for the jury? Sure. Um, say, for example, a witness is answering this question and it's going on and on, you press the pause button here. Uh, that freezes the output screen, but then you can go to another document, zoom in on a particular area, and get that ready. And then when you're ready to present it, you just hit the play button and it replaces the other document. All right, Ian, tell us, how do we get this app? When's it available? When, when, when can we have it? Um, Trailpad 1.5 is available right now in the App Store. Trailpad 2 and 2.0 is going to be coming out in about a week or two. And it's still available in the App Store. If you already have 1.5, free upgrade. And if you don't have it, you just go to the App Store, type in Trailpad. There you are. Right, how much does it cost? $89. And are there any uh, monthly fees or upgrade charges yet? One time charge, $89. Yeah. All right, Ian, thank you very much. It's a very interesting product. Thank you. Appreciate the time. This is Randy Ipe signing off for TechnoEsk at ABA Tech Show 2011.